Oh, a Call of Duty video in today's economic climate is insane for me. Call of Duty is at an all-time low, or so they say. Actually, it's at an all-time high. Believe it or not, our numbers for Modern Warfare 3 are higher than Modern Warfare 2019 at the height of the pandemic, which is insane to me because everyone online is saying Call of Duty is dead. I'm shocked as you, but I've been playing absolutely non-stop on this game, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the slide canceling. Maybe it's the movement-based physics. We'll talk all about that. I love it. I'm an old-school Call of Duty player, but I love it. Uh, my One of my favorite Call of Duties ever is actually Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty 4, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Those are like my top-of-the-line Call of Duties. Modern Warfare 2 fits in just underneath that bracket, but I absolutely love those Call of Duties. So it's just a wide array of FPS movement and just completely different engines and all this other kind of stuff. Just the unique value of it all. I love them. I love those. Uh, the other ones in between that can go, I wouldn't care if I missed Black Ops 1 or MW3. I wouldn't care about those, but it is what it is, guys. Let's get into this thing. Uh, Modern Warfare 3's movement clips have arranged many of the game's passive players as many are glamoring for the return, or clamoring for the return of the camping days. Fuck y'all old ass motherfuckers and fuck y'all new ass motherfuckers. Y'all are so garbage at a video game. Y'all will literally complain about anything other than getting good at the video game. Literally anything. You want no movement back. Okay, let's get on Black Ops 2. What was the complaint about Black Ops 2? Oh my god, this, that, the other thing. Snipers have made me say... This, that, anything is about... And you can literally use anything in Black Ops 2 and people will still find a way to complain about it. Right? Same thing with Black Ops 2. It's movement based. They're jumping. They're grinding on walls. This is stupid. No one likes wall running. This guy's 360 no scope, but there's no aim assist on snipers. The same motherfuckers were complaining about having aim assist on the snipers were complaining in Black Ops 2 that there were no aim assist on snipers. Who the fuck are these people, bro? These people need to go outside. Or go back on Madden. Go outside or go play Madden. Go do something else, alright? It's been 16 years since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare exploded onto the gaming scene. Fun fact, that was my first multiplayer Call of Duty. Wasn't my first Call of Duty, it was my first multiplayer Call of Duty because I got Xbox Live the Christmas thereof after that game was released. And I was scared to play online, but you know what? I did it anyways. And I used my older brother's Microsoft account or Xbox account at the time to play online. So all those camos I got on Call of Duty 4 are not uh, my own progression, but my older brother's progression. And then he just never played Call of Duty again, which is weird. And then I got super good at the game, but it is what it is. Uh, setting the standard for FPS gaming for years to come is what Call of Duty 4 did. We've seen many games try to copy COD's formula, but few have lasted as long as the FPS juggernaut Call of Duty. Thank you, Dexerto, with the quotes on quotes. Since 2007, it's safe to say the multiplayer gaming has shifted a bit as movement mechanics have evolved and gameplay formulas have changed. Engine creations, graphics, sound design, everything catered to faster playstyles. Bigger brain players, higher IQ levels of problem solving in a situational gunfight where you win, lose, milliseconds, everything. Everything. Remember in the day when all you needed to be good at Call of Duty was a great headset? That was insane. I had a Turtle Beach headset. I don't know what it was. Was it the X12s, the, the thunder sound thing? What I don't even know what it was. It had all these fucking wires and shit that connects to the TV, to the Xbox, to the controller, all these fucking wires, bro. There was like an amp that went with it too. That shit was the stealth, the stealth X12s or something like that. Turtle Beach stealth heads. I don't even know what it is. Is someone in the comment section? Let me know in the comment section below. Wow. I said that twice. That's kind of redundant, but, um, all you needed to be good at Call of Duty was that. And then uh, the next gen, Xbox One and PS4 came out and it got a little crazy right after Black Ops 2. It got a little fucking crazy. However, I will say Call of Duty Ghost is a pretty good Call of Duty in my opinion. You will never hear me say that there's no bad Call of Duty unless we're talking about the World War II Call of Duty like World War II and Vanguard. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Those are my worst Call uh, Those trash. Put them in the garbage can, right? But uh, what was the biggest complaint about Modern Warfare 2? There is no movement. Where is the movement? Oh my god, you can't reload cancel. You can't slime cancel. You can't you can't fucking cancel your own debit card transactions while buying things in the shop. Oh my god. These people don't know how to fucking move, bro. Fuck these guys, bro. They want it one way, they get it the other way. They want it the other way, they get it the one way. You know what I'm saying? 
you, they will never be happy. Call of Duty fans will never be happy. They can never take a game for face value. And then, in the cycle, when the new game comes out, right before the new game comes out, they go ahead and visit the previous year's Call of Duty and not the current Call of Duty while they're hyped up for the new Call of Duty coming out. And they say, maybe we were wrong about so-and-so. We saw those videos. Maybe we were wrong about Vanguard. And we're going to see those videos that of the people that hate slide games and we're going to see those videos from them maybe we were wrong about mw2 it's coming soon it's coming in about seven months i can already tell these motherfuckers don't know what they want bro i remember when oh, dude i was just graduating into high or getting into high school coming out of grammar school black ops 2 came out of the scene it was like my freshman year in uh, high school right and um these people were complaining about all oh, the, the the what was it the dsr it was insane, and then it got nerfed, and they're just complaining about aim assist on sniper rifles. They've been complaining about aim assist on sniper rifles since Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops 1 drops, right? The the fucking quick scoping or whatever for that, it was gone, virtually gone. But I loved quick scoping in Black Ops 1. But then those same people that were trying to like get cameras and stuff say, oh, they destroyed the sniper rifles. Da -da -da. It doesn't matter if they put aim assist on it. You're either a good Call of Duty sniper or not. It's not that hard. Just learn the new system. Learn the new mechanic. You don't need to be hand-fed on every situation. And then, when other people's, when other players get hand-fed, you complain about it because you're not as skilled as them with that. Everyone starts out at the same fucking base, bro. Like, Black Ops 3. When there was no aim assist, I picked that shit up right away. It, I, I literally sat down and practiced for like six hours at a time to get good at it. Some people don't have six hours at a time. That's fine. So don't get mad that other people spent their time on the game that you can't when it's a competitive game. Sure, you might say it's a casual shooter, but there are other people that just want to fucking win all the time. Either get good or stop trying. That's not that hard. The Brecci, though. The Brecci was very fucking annoying. We should have banned that. They should have banned that fucking gun. I don't know. Maybe I'm going insane, but I, I think the old school Call of Duty players, they're just old. Old heads. There's a new wave of Call of Duty players. And I'm just saying, some of the old school Call of Duty players are fucking it up in the scene still. Look at Scump. Look at, look at fucking Nade Shot. They're fucking it up on Modern Warfare 3. I think y'all are just some haters who can't stand little kids being better than you at video games. It's like the guy that gets beat up by a girl in like his, in like his favorite sport or activity. And then everyone's like, oh, you lost to a girl. And you say, man, this thing is so stupid now. I don't even give a fuck about this bullshit no more. Whatever it is. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about old school Call of Duty players wanting camping back in Modern Warfare 3. Wanting camping back in Call of Duty. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.